Morning friends, welcome to a 45 minute winter morning class. In this class we'll be focusing on the sides, loosening up the sides, building core pressure and strengthening the back of the body, focusing on the spine a little bit more. When you're ready, grab your mat and let's begin. Alright, so you want the knees together, ankles together, chin down, shoulders down, big breath in, and then exhale, slowly go to the right. Inhale up and left. Inhale up and let's go for 10 a bit faster. One, two, three. Keep the knees together, four, five, throw the knees, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, back to the middle, lift the feet off the mat, feet same height as the knees. Squeeze the knees together, chin down, and exhale, slowly go to the right. Inhale, middle, slowly go to the left. Inhale, middle, and we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling each time, keeping the knees together. Eight, nine, and last one, 10. Okay, now bring the knees closer to the chest. As close as you can, knees together, slowly take the knees to the right, exhale, and then pull the knees up to your armpit. Inhale, middle, slowly go to the left, and pull the knees up. Inhale, back, and let's go for 10. One, two, three, Four, five, six, keep your chin down, seven, eight, nine, and knees together, ten. Okay, just hug the knees in the chest. Now bring the feet down on the floor again, take the arms above the head. That's it, so feet hip width, long arms, chin down, lifting the hips up. And we hold, breathing. Keep pressing into the heels. Pouring the ribs, the chest into the face so your belly lengthens, so your belly flattens to the ceiling. Try not to let the knees separate too much. And don't forget about the arms, keep extending the arms. And slowly come back down. Stay there for a second. Grab the knees again. Squeeze the knees in. <clears throat> okay, and then you're gonna Keep the knees in the chest and take your arms out into the hard position like this. Yeah, so you want to right angle at the armpit, right angle at the elbow, that's it, making fists. And you want to have the wrists down, touching the mat, elbows down, shoulders down, and chin down into your chest. This time we change the breath. We take a big breath in, 
Hold the breath in and take the knees to the right. Keep the breath in, keep the knees just off the ground. Keep the knees together. That's it. Legs just off the ground. And come back up, exhale. Okay, so try not to let the wrist or the elbow lift or the shoulder lift. Big breath in, go to the left, hold the breath in. Knees just off the ground, keep the elbow down, keep the shoulder down, keep the wrist down. Exhale back. All right, one more on each side. Big breath in, hold, knees over. Now trying to pull the knees up into your armpit. That's it, keep the elbow down, keep the wrist down. Let the chest open and expand. Exhale, back. Big breath in, and go to the left. Try to keep the knees together, pull the knees up to your armpit. Exhale back. All right, hug the knees, squeeze the knees, rock a few times, back and forth, roll, roll, roll. Keep your back rounded. Roll all the way to your neck, if you can, all the way to your neck. All right, and just lie down, keep hold of your knees, and then just get your hands on top of the knee, so you're holding the kneecap, your fingers are holding the kneecap. Squeeze the knees in as you inhale, and then push the knees away as you exhale. And try to get your back off the ground slowly, 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 slowly. And back. Okay, keep your arms straight. Exhale, push. Push, 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 push. Feel your upper back opening. Mind in the belly. And back. And last one. Feel the belly gripping. Feel the core engaging. Push, 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 push. Okay, come back. Bring the feet down on the floor, arms above the head. Long arms. Keep the feet grounded, keep the feet on the floor. And as you exhale, throw the arms forward and grab the knees and sit up. And back, inhale, exhale, throw. And back, let's do five more. One, yes, two, oh God. three, try, throw, you have to really throw hard, four, and don't let, that's it, don't let the feet lift, last one, uh, you got one, okay, hands behind, Feet together, knees together, take the knees to the right, exhale, look to the left. Chest open, press into the hands, come back, other side, knees to the left, look to the right, look at your right hand. And back, and let's balance for 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, left leg straight, right foot in. Go forward. If you can grab your toes, grab your toes, and we just hold. Just pay attention because we're going to do the other side. Just pay attention to how low you can go on this one or how. Low your knee goes, the bent leg. Because we want to find the harder side. Just breathe here in the meantime. Keep lengthening the spine. 
pressing both knees down into the mat and slowly back and slowly switch that's it, foot in, go forward Okay, slowly back. Did we find a harder side? Yes. Yeah. So on a harder side, what we do is instead of bringing the foot in, we try to bring it into half lotus. So on top of the thigh, yeah. So you pull the foot up and you're trying to bring it into the hip, yeah. And then we go forward. As we go forward, we press the knee down, yeah. So if it's too much, just bring it in like that and just do that again yeah yeah that's it so go forward exhale press the knee down and then come back and again go forward press the knee down and back and again, just hold now. Trying to relax the legs. Bring your mind to wherever you feel the tightest. Breathe into it, relax it. And you'll see that the hips will open a bit more. The low back, the spine will relax a bit more. And slowly back. Now we keep the leg like that. We turn and bring the hand, so face the bent leg. That's it, and then twist. As you twist, you want to push the knee down. Pull on the knee to twist more, but push the knee down on the floor. Look behind you, straight back. Try not to lean back, try to stay upright. Try to keep your bum cheek down. That's it, don't let the bum lift. Okay, slowly back. So this is really good for the sacrum and um, any knee problem, even though it might feel intense on the knee, it opens your hip, which actually helps and releases the knee, yeah? And then this movement is actually pushing your hip in a certain way, pushing the femur, the leg bone in a certain way that's actually opening the sacrum. So. It, and it's really good if you find a big difference one side compared to the other, just to practice this one pose on one side more, okay? So re you rebalance your sacrum. Next one is legs wide, toes back. That's it, elbows wide, go to the side, exhale. Inhale up, other side. Inhale up and we bounce. One, two, exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just go to your hard side and hold.
Beautiful. Slowly back. Bring the legs together. Lie down on your back. Palms up. Again, this last one, if, you, if you're able to go deep, you're actually working the sacrum. Bring the hands behind the head, feet hip width, pull the toes back, that's it, and then lift the hips up as you exhale, keep the legs straight, big breath in, keep the hips up and then roll them to the right, exhale, inhale middle, roll them to the left, Exhale, inhale middle, one more on each side, roll, and up, and last one, back, and down, okay, have a look, so when you roll, the advanced version is to actually not let the feet roll with you, Keep the feet pointing up to the ceiling and you're trying to touch the hips on the side yeah as you roll let's try again let's just do two more slowly this time trying to keep the feet up you'll see it's it's a different game so relax the upper body it's all in your lower back lift the hips up exhale good Big breath in, roll to the right, exhale, that's it, that's it. And up, inhale, and roll to the left. And up, one more on each side, roll to the right, keep the feet up, that's it Tony. And back, last one. Roll, keep the feet up, keep the feet up, yes and back and down it's totally different it's totally, totally different, different huh it's really hard. yeah okay hug the knees and the chest and roll up a few times back and forth roll okay come up legs to the side That's it, hands behind the head, big breath in, slowly go to the side, exhale. Inhale up, trying to keep the knees down, exhale over. Inhale up, and now we bounce. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, and hold the last one, ten. Trying to look up, lift the top elbow up. Top armpit facing the ceiling. And then slowly come back up as you inhale and try and take the legs without using the hands to the other side. Yes. Okay. Big breath in. Slowly exhale. Oh. And up, exhale, over, and up, and we throw, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold the last one, ten, hold and breathe. Breathe into the side, the waist, the hips, and the ribs. Okay, slowly back. Come into cat pose. <clears throat> All right, this one we're gonna exhale as we round the back. Exhale completely and then lift the navel up, contract your belly. And inhale, open the front, look up. Exhale, round, press the floor away, chin down, and then navel up, lift the belly up. Inhale, open the front. One more, exhale, contract the belly. And inhale, stretch the throat, open the front, and squeeze the back. And drop. Knees together. Keep the shoulders still, drop the hips to the right, exhale. Inhale up, other side, exhale. Try not to move the shoulders. Come back, and we go quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, knees wide and then arms forward. Drop the belly between the thighs. Bum touches the heels if you can. Press the bum back. That's it, now drop the belly. this sweet melody of the traffic. The symphony of San Susi. All right, come back up. Your knees are together. The thighs are vertical. You walk the hands forward and bring the chest down. Look forward. Long arms. Trying to bring the armpits towards the floor. 
Bring the chest down towards the floor and breathe deeply. If the shoulder blades ache a little bit, that's fine. Keep lengthening the arms, keep dropping the chest. Keep looking forward if you can. Chin just off the ground if you can. And then keep that and bring the hands underneath your chin. Elbows slightly forward. Your chin is resting just on your hands. And you keep the shoulders down, keep the chest down. Knees stay together and as you exhale, take the hips to the side. And up, try not to let the shoulders lift as you drop the hips other side, exhale. And up, one more on each side, drop. And up, last one, drop, keep the shoulders down and come back up and come onto your hands and knees. Oh my God. Okay, left leg back, straight leg, pull the toes back. Yeah, try not to have the leg too high, have it in line, so a bit lower, Nick, a bit lower. That's it. And then take your right arm forward, palm in, and we hold. Lengthen the arm away so you open your shoulder. Don't let the back drop. Keep pressing into your left hand. Keep your core engaged so your back is not arching. And press the heel away so your hip opens. Okay, bring it down. Right leg back, pull the toes back, press the heel. Yeah. That's it. Drop the leg a bit, Nick. You can, yeah, that's it. And then take the left arm forward and lengthen that arm so your shoulder opens, so your rib opens. Lift, engage your lower back. Not the leg, the lower back lift. That's it. Lift the belly. Yeah. Same thing. This is arching. Get it down a bit. That's it. Same thing, lift this, yes, and then open, yes, two more breaths, yes, and down, okay, just sit back, have a look, I'll show you the next one, oh my god, we almost died, I know, <laughs> okay, grab opposite elbows, Lace the fingers, we're not gonna get into headstand, we're just gonna get into the stage before we hit headstand, yeah? So you don't want your elbows too wide, otherwise you won't be stable. You want them under your shoulders. Lace the fingers together, head goes down, you're on your toes and you lift up and then you roll on the front of the feet and you can stay there or you can try to pull the feet and we hold here, okay? We're just holding here so that you're, you're basically learning, you get that feeling of being upside down and you're learning to use your core in that weird position. And also your neck is gonna strengthen, even though most of the weight is into your arms and on the top of the head, your neck is gonna strengthen, yeah? Try not to do this, yeah? You're on your toes, you roll and pull. To pull, you use your elbows, yeah? Pull with your elbows and use your core. And we stay there for about 10 breaths. When we come down, we go straight into child's. Don't look up. Straight into child's pose, arms back, okay? Let's try. Grab opposite elbows. Lace the fingers. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You can do it. It's very easy. 
Very easy, very good for the neck. That's it. Lift the bum up. And then trying to pull. That's it, Kelly. Pull, 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 pull. And no jerking. Yeah? Elbows a bit closer, Eva. Closer to each other. That's it. That's it. And stay there breathing. And you've done about 10 breaths because you got into it at different times. And you've done about 10 breaths. You can slowly come down into child's pose. This is a good exercise to practice before getting into headstand. When you come out of it, just keep the head down, arms back, relax. Let the shoulders drop. in child's you should feel the warmth in the neck you should feel that it actually works the neck a little bit and it's just like the spine the neck the more you strengthen it the more it relaxes if the neck is weak or imbalance, it tends to tense up. If the spine feels compromised, it tenses up. Stops you from moving too much. All right, slowly back. Another great one for the neck and for headstand preparation is we're in cat pose, you bring the head down, so you're on the forehead, but you, you stay basically in between. You have to find that sweet spot. It's between the forehead and the top of the head. It's not the top of the head because then there's too much of a rounding here. It's about here, so your neck, you'll see, will be in line with the rest of the spine. So you start here, your hands are there to support you, you're on your toes, lifting the knees up, and then you can hold here, just keep the hands there. Or you can grab one knee, grab the other knee, and you hold this just for five breaths. And then you come down and rest. And then we try it again. We're gonna try it three times. Okay, five breaths, then rest for five breaths, and then try again. Okay, I'll talk you through it. So head down in cat pose. That's it. Your feet are apart for balance. Lift the knees up. And you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's painful on the head. Yes, it is. Because you never go onto your head. And then maybe you can grab one knee. Maybe not, that's fine. Maybe you can grab the other knee. Bump goes up, spine is straight. Legs are straight. And then come back down, hands down, drop the knees, child's pose, arms back. Yeah, let's try it again in cat pose. Drop the head. That's it. Elbows off the ground. And then lift. Yeah, try it, huh? Lift the bum up. Feet apart for balance. That's it. Beautiful.
that's it, lift the bum up, straight spine. Yeah, if your feet are too far, bring them closer. When you've done five breaths, slowly come back down. Beautiful, see, you can do it. I think it's really freaky for me. Yeah, but you can do it. We'll get over the fear. So go back down, next time you have to bring your feet closer to your head, to your face. Okay. You're a bit too, too far apart. Uh, before you do your last one, I'll show you what I mean. So if your feet are too far, it's actually much harder to hold it. You see what you look like? Mm -hmm. But if you bring your feet here, like a little pyramid, yeah? Okay. Much easier. Maybe more pressure in the head. I, I don't even think so, to be honest. But it's safer. You're, you're pressing more into the ground. Whereas if you do this, you have more chance to slip. You're pushing more, you know, like that. You're yeah. pushing more forward. So try. And you might feel like it's scarier to bring your feet closer to you, but it's actually more stable. Try one more time, one last time. That's it, bum up. The hands are there to support you if you need to, or you can grab the knees. Try both. So press him more. Do it. Try, try, try. That's it. Keep pressing in your heels. Don't let the, don't let the feet go. Uh, when you're down about ten, five breaths, sorry, just relax in child's. <coughs> just to strengthen the neck, yeah? <clears throat> and it also works the whole spine. Energizes the whole spine. Slowly come back. How did that feel? Intense? Yeah. Good. So there's a lot of major points around the head. So as you work those points, there's, if it's painful, it's actually good for you to do this. Yeah. It's like this one we do where we knuckle the head and it's painful. I always say insist wherever you find that it's painful because there's something stuck. You're just energizing, unlocking all these um, pressure points. Okay? You alright, Tony? You okay? Yeah, <laughs> It's alright. It's the best thing that Charles does. Because okay. the less I like tense to my neck, the more, like the more I relaxed, but the more comfortable it became as well. Yeah. Like you're not like, if you're tense, then you start to feel like sharp pain and all that kind of thing, but if you just relax. Yeah. Just and and that comes with practice, like tensing up, and I get it, you know, I, I was, I tried this as a, you know, as a beginner as well, ages ago, and I was like, fuck, this is, this is scary for the neck, like, I feel like I'm gonna, I can break my neck doing this, but actually, it's like, if you go into it mindfully, mm. if you practice it, it's, it becomes nothing. I'm not doing this at home myself. <laughs> yeah, you just do it with us, that's oh, fine. That's more it's, than yeah, all right, next one, lace the fingers, hands on top of the head. Sit off to the side, and then press, exhale, lengthen the arms, and then come back to the middle, use the hips, come up, hands on top of the head, sit off to the other side, exhale, press, oh, yeah. controls, that was controlled descent, well done, and then use the hips, inhale up. That's it. Use the hips. Holy And exhale, drop. Hips heavy. 
and then long arms open the side use the hips inhale up big breath in exhale drop inhale up let's do four more exhale and up exhale press 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 and up exhale lengthen the arms press smile inhale back last one and up oh the last one <laughs> Okay, reclining hero. If you can't do it, I'll give you options, but reclining hero, you sit between your heels. <laughs> With class. If you can't, on your elbows, just on your elbows and just, oh my God, this is really intense in my thighs because I never stretched them that way, then just stay there, that's perfectly fine. And then otherwise, you can slowly slide down. And if, yeah, just wherever you feel like you're getting the stretch and the intensity is enough for you, then just stay there. And another option is to lace the fingers, press the palms above the head. So you lengthen the arms. You keep your chin down. And then keep the ribs down and lift the hips up. And drop the hips as you inhale and lift the hips as you exhale. Oh, you going back up? Ah. Do a few more like this. Lift the hips. And drop the hips. If you're on one leg, you can switch. That's it, but keep the bottom ribs down, yeah? So you don't let the hips, you just don't let the ribs lift, just the hips, which is, you know, kind of impossible. All right, lie down on your back, relax. Arms up. All right, take the arms out to the sides. Palms down, legs straight up, toes back. Keep your chin down and then slowly take the legs to the right. Exhale. Inhale up and left. Exhale. Inhale up and we go for 10. One, two, three, four, toes back, five, chin down, six, shoulders down, seven, eight, nine, and ten, relax. Let's try bridge pose again. Arms above the head, legs bent, feet flat on the ground, feet hip width, 
Lengthen the arms. Palms up. That's it. Chin down. Lift the hips up. Exhale. Good. Keep the hips here. Keep pressing into the heels. Keep pressing into your big toe so your inside leg is working. Squeeze the knees in a little bit. Think bottom ribs towards the face and your belly will lengthen. All right, slowly come down. Keep the legs there. Just catch your breath. And we do a bridge pose variation where we go back up with the hips, lift the hips up and we'll see which side is harder. So trying to lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Yeah, we're doing it together. That's it, hips up, lift the left leg up and then bring it down and lift the right leg up and this is the end of the class unfortunately the camera ran out of battery during the class so this will be only 45 minutes you can do this last pose holding it for up to 10 breaths per leg then relax down if you feel like there's a harder side and a much weaker leg then repeat it on the hard side after that um, you can also finish with another headstand if you like, if you're comfortable with headstand or any of the steps before headstand. Just uh, keep practicing headstand throughout winter. This is the best pose to practice for winter time to strengthen the spine and calm the nervous system down. I hope you enjoy the class. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for a future class and please leave a like for other people to access this video more easily. Have a good day. Thank you very much.